Welcome to the section on transplant nutrition. In this presentation, we will review the importance of nutrition, food safety guidelines, and the potential dietary restrictions you may experience in your post-operative course. So why is nutrition important? After transplant, your body requires increased energy and protein needs to fight off infection and to aid in healing. Those who are malnourished prior to transplant will want to return to a healthy weight. It is important to note that too many extra calories will lead to unnecessary weight gain and is not desired. Immediately after your transplant, aim for small frequent meals every two to three hours as they are usually well tolerated. Consider including a protein source at every meal, which includes fish, chicken, red meat, milk, eggs, yogurt, cheese, beans, and nuts. Some patients may be encouraged to consume a nutrition supplement for a period of time after transplant to help support their energy and protein needs and should be taken as directed by their transplant coordinator or nutritionist. Also, remember to drink adequate fluids to ensure you remain hydrated. You may have been asked to restrict your fluids prior to transplant for numerous reasons, but now you want to aim for at least 64 ounces of fluids per day, unless otherwise directed by your doctor. 64 ounces is about eight eight ounce glasses and includes water, juice, decaffeinated coffee or tea, and popsicles. Let's switch gears and talk about food safety and its importance. Now that you've been transplanted and are taking medications that suppress your immune system, it is important to understand that your ability to fight off infections is lowered. This means that coming in contact with a foodborne illness can make you very sick and could even lead to death. To avoid this situation, always remember to wash your hands with soap and water before preparing or eating foods and after touching raw meat, fish, poultry, or eggs. When preparing meals, make sure to avoid cross-contamination by keeping cooked foods away from surfaces that have touched raw meats, fish, poultry, and eggs. Make sure to sanitize anything that comes in contact with these raw foods, such as cutting boards, utensils, plates, and pans. It is suggested that you cook meat, fish, and poultry within one to two days after purchase or freeze for a later date. We do not recommend eating raw or undercooked meats, eggs, poultry, fish, or shellfish. This means that eggs should be well done with no runny yolk. You can safely eat hard-boiled eggs, over hard, scrambled eggs, and omelets. Red meat should be well done and cooked to 160 degrees Fahrenheit with no evidence of pink in the middle. Chicken should be cooked to 180 degrees Fahrenheit to avoid the risk of salmonella poisoning. Finally, fish and shellfish should not be consumed raw and instead should be cooked to an internal temperature to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That would include avoiding raw clams, oysters, and mussels. Sushi should also be avoided due to the raw or undercooked fish and shellfish. Proper care is also required when preparing to eat fruits and vegetables. Make sure to wash all fruits and vegetables, including skins and peels, before slicing, cooking, or eating. Vegetable sprays are not necessary. We recommend using cold running water as the best option. When eating out, choose foods with removable skins, such as a banana or oranges. Consider washing the tops of cans prior to opening, pouring, or drinking, such as in canned vegetables, soups, or sodas. Other general guidelines include avoiding buffets, as you risk touching utensils that are contaminated, foods that have been inappropriately handled or left at temperatures that encourage bacterial growth. When grocery shopping, 
Avoid buying cans or other products that are expired. Heat deli meats in the microwave for 20 seconds or until steamy before consumption. Finally, avoid thawing meats, poultry, or fish on the countertop. Instead, place frozen foods in the refrigerator the night before you plan on cooking. After consuming your meal, refrigerate or freeze your foods within two hours after cooking. As a general rule, throw out leftovers within four days. We suggest dating your leftovers to make it easier to remember when it's time to throw it out. When going back to eat leftovers, Make sure to reheat the food item to at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit and stir it to ensure adequate temperature throughout. When at a picnic or barbecue, don't let hot or cold perishables sit out longer than two hours or one hour when the outdoor temperature is around 80 degrees or higher. It is important to know where your drinking water and ice is coming from. It should be from a safe, treated source. Well water is not recommended, even if it's filtered. If the water source is not reliable, it should be boiled for three minutes and stored in a clear, covered container, or bottled water can be used. Plan ahead when traveling to make sure you stay hydrated. In some instances, post-transplant, you may be asked to limit your potassium intake because of a high blood level. In this situation, aim to take less than 2,000 milligrams of potassium per day using the list of foods on the following slide and the more detailed version in your post-transplant binder. This restriction often only is necessary for the short term. Please note that you only need to restrict your potassium intake if instructed by your transplant coordinator or doctor. Here is a list of high potassium foods. The one you will often hear referred to as high are bananas, oranges, orange juice, tomatoes, potatoes, milk, nuts, beans, avocados, and spinach. Thank you for taking the time to listen and view the post-transplant nutrition guideline presentation. In summary, make sure to eat well immediately following transplant with a focus on protein. Hydrate with the aim to consume at least 64 ounces of fluid per day. Maintain a moderate sodium restriction. Maintain food safety guidelines indefinitely. And follow a low potassium diet if instructed by your transplant team. If you have any questions, please call your transplant dietitian at 617-632-7252 or your transplant coordinator at 617-632-9700.